Happy Halloween, everybody. It is Scott, the Treasure Coast Picker. It's October 31st, and this is going to be another Comic Tom Mystery Mail Call unboxing. And I'm not going to do it like this because I cannot breathe. Okay, that's better. Man, that thing is confining. In any case, the mail came in today. We've got our, uh, I guess, the third one we've done. And I probably should have pre-opened this. I thought there was a zip on here, but there isn't. We're going to open this mystery mail box of Comic Tom. A knife would be easier to do this with. And we're going to slice this right open here. And there is the mystery mail box. I love these boxes. And we're just going to slice this open here off camera for a second. And we'll put that away. And here we go. Here we go. And here is the box of comics. Uh, for those of you who've seen this for the first time, uh, this is a reselling channel. I usually do reselling uh, tips and uh, haul videos. But I decided to add the comic book uh, thing in. I did this a couple months ago, and uh, it's been pretty good popular uh, attraction here. So let me get this open. And I'm going to try to not reveal what they are. And uh, I, there's a card in here. Well, I'll try and get the card out that has uh, perfect on the first try. And then I'm going to take this and flip it, flip it over so we don't see what it is. And uh, let's see what's available this month. Uh, this is the October Mystery Mail Call from Comic Tom, comictom.com. Uh, and uh, these are $40 shipped. You get uh, between five and seven comics, and you always get exclusive stuff. He always has exclusive uh, variants of things like that. And this month, we have the chance to get uh, some of these Dune uh, comics, which are a trade dress. And then there are 700 virgin variants of that. There's also whatever this is here. I will get to that if we get one. And uh, an exclusive ash can, which may or may not be in. It's limited to... Uh, Oh, 50. So it's pretty slim chance of getting that. So let's just jump right in and let's uh, feed from the bottom, I think, and see what we get. And we got the Dune. The uh, number one Dune house. I can't even read that. Let me see what this says here. Um, this month's exclusive Dune house at Treaties, number one variant by Ben Templesmith. And that's what this is. It's not the uh, Virgin cover, unfortunately. But it's still a pretty neat, uh, pretty neat book, and it is a number one. And we'll see what this does uh, in the marketplace. Now, coming right off the top, we'll take the next one, and uh, this is oh, this is the other uh, variant edition, which is also an exclusive. So we got uh, one of each. I guess they were they were packaged one on each end, and I flipped one over. So this is the um, X of Swords Creation, uh, number one magic variant by Davi. Davigo. I guess so. Davi. Davigo. <laughs> That's what it says. Davigo. And, uh, okay, so this is by Marvel. And uh, it is part one of 22. So this is going to be a long series. Uh, let me get rid of the glare there. And this is Davigo. There it is. Davigo written down there. And uh, so that's it's a really thick book, actually. That's the second one. So let's see what we got now. We'll probably get some regular books now. Oh, no, here's the art print. It get, keeps getting better. This is the art print, which, um, if I can find it on the list here, is, um, I don't know, Titan Thanos by Brian Silverbacks. And everybody gets one of these. This one is numbered uh, 2294 out of 2300. This is only six away from the end. <laughs> it's on the high end. But anyway, it's a pretty cool uh, Thanos print with... Uh, some stuff going on. It's all Thanos. Very nicely done. Okay, this will be a short video because there's only like six or seven books. Okay, our next book. I don't see anything really thick here, so there's probably no, no trade paperbacks. Uh, oh, here we go. Giant Size Annual, The Avengers. Giant, giant Size Annual. Let me pull back here. I'm probably getting too close. And this is uh, number 16. Uh, giant Size Annual number 16 from Marvel. And the year is... Um, what is the year on this? 1987. So there's some 1980s goodness right there uh, from the uh, Avengers. 
and uh, 15 Avengers Battle Warriors of Death. I like that. I like the old stuff. I'm an old school guy. When I worked at Marvel, it was uh, in the early 90s, so I collect a lot of that 80s and 90s stuff. Next up is something I've never seen before, Bull Dark, Dark Horse Comics. This is Baltimore. Baltimore, the Witch of Har Ju. And how fittingly that it's Halloween and we got a witch comic uh, with the uh, graveyard and everything. So this is this should have been my opening piece. I wish I wish I'd have known it was in there. But that's why it's a mystery. In any case, this is Dark Horse Comics 2 of 3. And uh, Baltimore, the Witch of Yuharu. Haru. Haru. And uh, this is a light boxes here. Uh, Mark Millar and John Romita Jr. Hit Girl. Who published this? This is Icon by Icon. And um, I don't know what to say about this because I don't know anything about it. Issue 2. It's also a variant edition. So people like to collect these variant editions and uh, or sometimes they put them up for sale. We'll see what we decide to do with this. And finally... This is finally, this is the last one. This is, this went really quick. quick. This is a Samurai Grandpa. <laughs> samurai Grandpa. No clue as to what this is. Certainly nothing I've ever seen before. And uh, double size final issue. So apparently Samurai Grandpa, four of four. So I guess he was a short run. And uh, this is done by, let's see who it's done by. Oh, Aston Davina and Sean Daly. Actually, no Sean Daly, but not this Sean Daly. And... Uh, in any case, that is the whole mystery box for this month. To really uh, recap real quickly, Samurai Grandpa, 404. And uh, I think it's a nice thick book. And then we've got uh, Hit Girl, John Romita Jr. I knew John Romita Sr. when I worked at uh, when I worked at Marvel. And then there is uh, Baltimore, I like this one, Witch of Harju, which is a Dark Horse comic. This was probably my favorite right here because it's old school. I love the old school stuff. The Avengers, uh, Giant Size Annual number 16. Uh, the art print, which is very nice. Thanos, art print. The uh, X of Swords creation. This is, oh, this is an X-Men book. Okay, it's an X-Men book. It's a $7 cover price on this. So these books are getting expensive. Uh, when I was at Marvel, they, was, they were like $2 maybe for a cover book. This is uh, $7. And this one, let's see what the cover on this is. It doesn't say. Boom Studios, Dune, House Atreides. And this is number one. And so there we go. That's going to do it. I don't know. This is my third one. I'm going to stick with it a little longer. The, the deal is, is that you get these exclusives every month, that he has uh, exclusive comics like these. And you get the art print. And then you get three or four other comics that... Um, that... Um, are random and but he has see he has these he offers these prizes which are probably about five or six prizes per month so you got to figure how many if he does 1500 of these that's your your chances of getting a prize are uh, are pretty slim but there is that chance that you could get it so i'll probably stick with this at least through the end of the year uh, i, I want to give it a fair shot um so far i think i've done okay uh i think last month was a better was a much better uh uh, uh mystery box than this one uh, I say right out of this batch, my favorite is the Avengers. So uh, we'll we'll stick with it a little longer and see how it goes. And uh, that's going to do it. We will see you uh, soon with a uh, monthly recap video of the things we sold in uh, uh, the month of October. And we may have another whole video coming up soon. Uh, if you like this, please comment and subscribe below. And uh, we will see you at the next video. Bye. Happy Halloween.